All right, let's get back into the aisle. Now, I am not a Rex anymore because I died. I had the Rex for over a week and two Spinosauruses came along and I couldn't do anything. Couldn't move, I had no stamina so I couldn't run and I think they're faster than me. I had a juvenile with me, yeah, and they ate me. And it turned out that one of them was Clyde, who is my fellow Rex. He was one of the Spinosauruses and yeah, he didn't realise it was me. I think he still would have killed me anyway. So I have been playing as a d uh, d d well, we call it a Dillo for short. I think it's Dilophosaurus. Is it Dilophosaurus? Yeah, I think it is. First of all, I want to explain if there's any, uh, I apologize if there's any background noise. It is the six weeks holidays. Um, so yeah, there might be some background noise at some point. Right, okay, so I am a Dilophosaurus fully grown adult. Yes, now I'm on here because we came to this nice little place. But as myself and another player arrived, we found some ribs on the side of the hill. So, and they look fresh. So, we don't know if there's any other dinosaur here. But I'm currently, look at my hair. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> hello, hello. Awesome. Right, so, let me just turn the game sounds down, because... I don't know if you to hear any noises around. Right, so let's apply that. So let's, talk, let's turn the effects down. About 30. Oh, I can't hear nothing. Hang on. No, that's not good. I need to hear. I can't hear my dinosaur now. <laughs> what have I done? Right. There we go, okay, here we done so right. I'm so used to T-Rex, it doesn't make noise when it gets up. So basically what I'm doing is I'm scouting. Now I am a male, so I can't lay a nest and lay eggs, but I can hunt. Uh, right now I'm quite high on food and water and stamina. So I'm just gonna scout out, so there's food here. So there's ribs there. I don't think we made those. Uh, so I need to have a scout around. I mean, how many players are on? There's 22 players. There, there's Clyde, the Spinosaurus. He betrayed me. Um, then again, I did find out that he got killed by another Rex, and he was in the same area as we were, but as an Allosaurus. And obviously, if I came online with my Rex, then I probably would have ate him. Unless he told me in the global chat that it was him, then I would let him be. Because I'm not like that. I'm a nice person. Um, right, so basically then, I'm just gonna scout around this area. I'm not gonna disclose where I am, even though I'm gonna show you the map. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I need to listen out for any, like, AI. So, AI, you get little tacos. Now, they're little brown things that, they're like, what, what? just think of a, um, a squirrel, same size as a sausage dog, with a fluffy tail. Uh, so that's an AI, that's a taco, and you've also got the Oro, which is like a Velociraptor, but white and a tail like mine, but black and brown. Um, 
And of course, you've got an Ava, which is like a, which is like a Triceratops. And if you are a juvenile, then... Was that me? Or was that another dinosaur? <laughs> Sometimes dinosaur makes sound, and you don't know if it's you or another dino around. Um, or, uh, yeah, they're like a Triceratops, and they are like a brightish orange. And you can actually play those dinosaurs. They can be requested. You can play them in the sandbox mode. Now, I was a Triceratops, not an actual Ava. I was a Triceratops. And I think within 20 minutes, I was killed as they'd mistaken me for an AI. Because a lot of people who are, I mean, we have 22 people, right? 22 players on the server. Now, not every one of these are in the server's Discord. So, some of them are new to the game. There's a couple of players uh, last night that were new to the game. It's great that they chose this server. Because um, they're very helpful people. So, they've got the game. Come on. You know, have a play around. They can become a fully grown Rex or an Allosaurus. And they don't know the difference between AI and a player. But you know, technically you're not supposed to because that's the whole idea of the game. You are supposed to survive. Survive being hunted. You do the hunting as well. So yeah, within 10 minutes I died by a pack of three Allosaurus fully grown adults. I'm like, okay, thanks very much. Now, the thing is, as a, a carnivore, like a small one like me. Nice green colours. You can choose your colours at the start when you choose your dinosaur. Um, you hear like an Orlo or an Ava and you're like, ooh, food. But then you've got to think, well, if I can hear it, is there something bigger than me that can also hear it? Now, when myself and another player arrived here yesterday, we just settled down and we heard a roar. Now it sounds like a, now we call it a giga, a giga t giga, but some people do. And I think it's a gigantosaurus, quite about the same height as a rex, if not a little bit bigger. And we heard that roar. Now when I was down here as a T-Rex before, there was two T-Rexes on the other side of that hill, just there, just by my head. I heard them one calling. They heard me one calling. So it had to be rather close. So that scared the life out of me when I heard that. I mean, I just got a kill because the other player was um, growing, about to change into a... Um, an adult and then we heard that so I said I'll pop on and I'll scout around the area when there's a few players on to see if there are any threats around which I haven't actually seen or heard anybody now let's maybe do a one call Nope, nothing. <laughs> so normally, I mean, what I learned from uh, Clyde is that if you go to a new area, he one call, especially with Rex, he does a one call and he waits for a response. If there's no response and he goes down into the area, then he can, and he sees someone, he can actually contest for that territory. So there's four calls. So one call you just heard, so let's do it again. So that's like an announcement. Hey, I'm here. Two call is friendly. Hey, I'm a friend, don't hurt me. Free call, that's a threaten. So if there's a, we have a body down wall at most servers and if a player has killed somebody and you come across it and you're really hungry, you can press free and do a free call 
they can either do the same back and then you can fight or you can surrender or if you need help if you're in a big pack then you press four and a lot of times the fight has uh, can be over yeah there's, there's, there's a few rules it's sometimes I find hard thing, things hard to explain but you know <laughs> ah so I still got all that footage of a Rex I'm, I'm adamant whether to use it or not because of the glitch with the Rex just sliding along with the replay glitch but yeah I might just use it anyway so let's have a look at the map so I have I use an interactive one you could buy one a buy one you can download one from the server that I'm in um, or you can use this one so you press insert and you get all your statistics up so it tells you how much hunger you are water stamina if you broke a leg it's easily done or if you're hurt by an AI Velociraptor or another player so if you click your asset location go to this website up here there's a few settings that you can do like shadow cliff path landmark name uh water scent and you can also have it now where was it assist so animation you can have on so it will assist me oh no wrong button wrong button well <laughs> i want to go back right so if i paste my location in it tells you my location here so that's where i am and we actually went from as a pack about eight of us went from around here all the way to here down here across here all the way to self twin twins is dangerous a lot of players go the twins up to the radio tower where we got ambushed by two giggers didn't even hear them because they clawed up and I looked around and like, ah, no. Yeah, I'll probably show that when I go for the replays. Um, and yeah, I, w one of us died and four of us, was it four? Yeah, four of us ran. I fell down the cliff. Another player fell down the cliff. One got eaten. So two got eaten. No, I killed one by mistake. One got eaten. Two of us fell down the cliff and died. Yeah. <laughs> So, then we're heading towards this area here, where we had another player in the voice chat, and he said he was down here, which he wasn't. He saw me run from a rock, came across, and at another player because she, uh, he was uh, resting because he broke his leg. He decided to jump off a, wa a waterfall. So he lied. Never trust anybody. Never give your location out in general chat or voice chat never do that because players will lie and he was hungry so he ate him um oh i can hear i can hear food now sometimes they can spawn up here now i do sometimes go live on twitch with this game i've done it once because you could be honest it's, it's, a lot of this game is waiting around and what i'm doing now so you're on your own it's middle of the day not many players are on kind of gets boring but it's great a location if you want to raise a family That didn't sound like an AI. That's an AI. Okay, I'm kind of scared now. This game is actually quite scared, but your heart pounds. Is that a juvie giga? Because that giga we heard last night 
could have had a child, and that child could be online. Oh. I need to get something to eat. Obviously, the idea of this game is to survive. That means by hunting other I'm scared of that noise. I don't know what it is. Right, let me go up here. Because I don't think it would risk coming up here. Let's lie down. That's an AI. I can't see no movement. Now, a lot of times, especially when you're looking for food, just lying down and just looking around and stopping and looking for movement is the best way of knowing what's coming. Now, there is a website. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, Sounds of the Isle. Let's just go back and just keep an eye out for getting any, any movement while I was gone. Uh, that doesn't sound like AI though. There is one. There's an Ava around somewhere. That's an Ava. But there's another sound. That's an Ava. Oh, let's get this Ava. So this is the Triceratops AI that I was talking about. It's called an Ava. Ah, come here, bugger. Ah. Yes, bleed, bleed. <laughs> now, hopefully, no one heard that. And it's all mine. That sound. That I can't even do it. That's an aura. That's an AI. So listening to the sounds around you as well helps. And of course, it's great that you can move your camera. Distant? Okay, we'll try this way. No, that's distant. Try this way. Oh, that's louder. So you know to head in that direction. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. There's something there. I think that's the Oro. Yes, that's the Oro. Let's go and say hi. Yeah, that's the Oro. Like a Velociraptor, but white and black tail. Bye bye. Okay, I heard that noise again. Okay, so I think that noise is a juvenile Giga. That's what I think. Let's just go on to that Sounds of the Isle website. Uh, Giga Juvenile. One core. No, it wasn't that. No. Let's try Ava, see if it wasn't Ava. No. been that so that website is pretty handy especially if you're new to the game and you're unsure of the sounds okay, I don't think that's another Oro. okay let's go back over to this body I'm going to set this body and I'm going to eat, wait until I'm really hungry and so let's get up, let's kneel down. Because I don't really want to leave it behind, I want it gone in case a bigger dinosaur finds it. Now the way they find it is, now this dinosaur is weird. You press and hold Q and you have a sniff and you use your scent to find water and food. 
So, this dinosaur, for some reason, it takes ages. So there's footprints. That's my footprints. And sometimes you can pick up the AI footprints and other people's footprints. So you can track them. That's been done to me before. I was tracked because of my footprints. So that little thing at the top of the screen, um, that's your water, that's your food. So south, there's food down, and north, there's food upwards. Um, and of course, the water does light up. Now this dinosaur, you walk and you hold Q, it does it a lot quicker, which is weird. Absolutely weird. Um, so yeah, it's strange. I will need some water soon, actually. So there's not going to be much on this video. Um, I'm going to have to... I probably can say, oh, I sound like a footballer. Well, yeah, I tried to get the ball in the goal. Um, I couldn't do it um, because my foot um, was the wrong foot. Um, I can't believe it. Um, so yeah, I'll do that again. So, for this type of game, I'd have to sit here for a good, maybe two hours a day, three hours a day, collecting footage, um, talking away, and then edit it all and put it together. So this is just a quick video, really, because um, there's nothing really happening. <laughs> and this happens most of the time as well in this game. And what I'm going to try and do, when the other player comes on later uh, this evening, I might see if he's alright if I actually record it to put onto YouTube. They're a dilo as well. Um, obviously, I just don't want to record it and then put it straight to YouTube. Obviously, I want to get everyone's permission first. It's only their voices. But it'll be interesting. So, yeah. Well, I think that is about, I think that's basically all I can do for this video. Because there's not many players on. There's 24. I don't want to go near Clyde because I think he's still a Spinosaurus. Uh, some of these probably not even in the server. in the Discord, so they're probably new players or, because a lot of players have like, there's loads of servers you can choose from and they have a different dinosaur in every, so they could be part of six servers and they have a different dinosaur in each. Oh, what shall I play today? I think I'll be a Triceratops. Let's go to that server. Oh, I'm bored of that. Let's go to this server. Let's be my T-Rex. So, yeah, you're not confined to one. And it's online only. You can host one yourself. And That's a that's an adult Rex. That is an adult Rex, and it's over that way. Oh my God! There's a dinosaur up there. Is that the Rex? No, 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 no. Please don't tell me that's the Rex. Even though it looks small from this distance, it could be the Rex. Oh, oh no, there's, there's the Rex. <laughs> that must be the Rex's baby. Oh, he's got two babies. Wait a minute. If that's two babies, I don't think that's allowed. I think you can be, you can be two adults and one baby, or one adult and one baby. I 
I don't want to put it in general because if I put in, if I ask about it in global chat, they might know I can see them. And right now, that I'm lucky that they're going in a different direction. I'm going to have to ask that in the Discord server. Because in this server, we have pack limits. So for Rex, two adults and a baby. Giga is two adults and a baby. Dilophosaurus is nine in a pack. But in a territory, you can have 15. <laughs> I'm glad they're not coming this way. Oh, crikey. So they, where are they? They must be going down. Ah, they're going down to the swamp. Oh, <laughs> oh my heart is still pounding. This, this game, I tell you, it scares you. I want to get this gone before I log out. I want to. I need to safe log. Now a lot of people were here about safe log. I'm like, what safe log? So what happens is when you press escape, if you go to quit, your dinosaur is still in game for quite a while. It could be two minutes, could be five minutes, and then you log back on and think, why am I choosing another dinosaur? How am I dead? Because you never safe logged. So, when you press escape, you can see there's a timer here. It's different per server. Once that gets to zero and the time disappears, then you log out. Damn, my heart's still pounding. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, they must be heading to twins, actually. Or they're trying to find a nice little spot to uh, raise the family. So I'll ask in Discord, and I will put it on the screen now, if you can have one adult and two babies. Because when I, before my adult Lex died, I only had one baby because of the pack limit. Scared now. <laughs> I can't see no other movement. So they've definitely gone down towards those trees just above my back. They're gonna need water. Now there is water down there. That's closer than the water down there. That's a good point. I'm gonna need water as well. Oh, I need this to be gone. Otherwise, I'll come back on it, it'll despawn, and we're gonna go hunting again. I don't want to come back into the game later to find that that Rex family came, found this, and for all oh, someone's around here and decided to take a little lie down. And I spawn right in front of them. I think it's Rexes are scared of Dillos. Because they are quite powerful. But I know some players have killed a Rex with one Dillo on their own. But it depends on your skill if you're good enough fighter or not. Now, I'm not. That's the only thing. That's getting dark. Well, that's gone. That's now ribs. Right, brilliant. Uh, let's find a nice bush that I can... Oh, God, be careful to slip and kill myself. Right, let's go and get some... Oh, I thought I could bit my leg. Let's go and get some water. And hide in the bush. I shouldn't really run, because I'm using my stamina up, and that will take food off me. I've already just got full... And as an adult, I can't eat ribs. Only a juvie can eat ribs. 
But I kind of want to hurry. Right, let's, get, let's fill up on water. Luckily enough, you can't deny anyone water. <laughs> I'm scared when I drink water. Especially after seeing that Rex. Right, let's go just a little bit further up here. Let's go... Okay, we'll go up into the cliff a little bit, I think. I want to find a suitable bush. Let's go here. I should be okay here. I can see some of the water. Yep. Right, well, anyway, that's going to be a short video, but there's nothing really I can do. Like I said, I'm going to find out if any of the people that I walk around with uh, wouldn't mind you know, being on a YouTube video. If not, then it'll be just me being single player. But And I'll, I'll go through all the previous footage as well, uh, even with the glitches, and get some more edited and uploaded. So until next time, thanks for watching, and have fun.